Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So today I'm trying out a new pouring medium. This is the Artist Loft Pouring Medium. And um, it says, for instructions, add pouring medium to thin acrylic paint and make it easier to pour. Recommended ratio, one part acrylic paint to five parts Artist Loft Medium. So already right there, um, I'm kind of not recommending it just based off of the price because you'd only be able to do maybe two paintings with this and it's not super cheap. I don't remember how much it was, somewhere in between 10 and 15 bucks, I think. So anyways, um, I do have my silicone lowly vefe mat under here and a silicone bowl. All of the materials will be in the description. So for the paints, I actually mix them more with like four parts of the pouring medium to one part paint. So I didn't use quite as much pouring medium and no water. This is white Artist Loft Flow Acrylics. This is a metallic blue from Arteza, really pretty color. And then I have a metallic pink also from Arteza and some artist loft whoopsies artist loft flow acrylics blue and then some artist loft flow acrylics yellow it's gonna be a nice fun bright painting throwing some more white in here so this is pretty thick i think i'm going to add a little more pink so I really like these metallic colors from Arteza. They're really pretty. And then I'll add a little more of this metallic blue as well. Okay, so that should be good. And as usual, I think I'm gonna stick with my favorite technique. Flip cups are awesome, but you know me, I love the tree rings. And one of my tests of whether I like a paint or a pouring medium is how it pours a tree ring if it maintains the lines or if it, you know, gets them all bunched up and blurred. Let's see if that pink comes out or if it hides. So far it's hiding. <laughs> I think I will do a Wrecker Ring though, because why not? And I'm going to do it with my pink stick. And there have been a couple suggestions like doing a wreck ring with a comb or something else, which I will definitely be doing coming up. I think that's good. Okay. Let's go ahead and tilt. So I think for this pouring medium, pretty much what I already know that I don't like about it is just simply the price. Otherwise it seems okay. Um, it does dry very glossy. I only know because I've done one other painting with it and it does dry glossy. And if it does seem to be maintaining the lines fairly well here. Well, there we go. Some of that pink came back out. So that's pretty nice spring colored painting, kind of pastel colors. So the pouring medium itself actually isn't that bad. And I guess if you get some with a coupon and stuff, it, it could be pretty good. Let's go ahead and let this sit here for a little while. And then we will do our close-up. All right, so not a lot changing here. It does seem to have quite a few air bubbles, though. So I'm going to quickly torch it. See if we can get some of those out. Um, I assume it's the same with the pouring medium. But I noticed with the Artist Loft Ready Mix paint it really holds on to the bubbles. It's also much stickier, <laughs> just as another note. So if you're not wearing gloves when using this paint or pouring medium, very, very sticky. All right, let's do our close up. Okay, lower right hand corner. I love this green ribbon coming through here. Up to the upper right hand corner. So look at those beautiful lines. Super pretty. I love the lines in this one. 
And then down here where I torched, you can see a little bit of those kind of pinholes in the lower left-hand corner there. So overall, very nice. All right, guys. So for a product review of the Artist Loft, it is not bad, um, but I don't necessarily recommend it for the price, personally. If you want to try it, give it a go. It's it's definitely, result-wise, it's, it's pretty nice. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you all next time.